Yeah, be mad at the person that's sitting here offering to help you for three dollars a month. Or, you know, be mad at the person that, you know, wants your time, wants your attention, but can't take your ass to work though. <laughs> can't take you to go get your son though. Can't buy you a hot meal though. Or I take that back. All that could get done, but you gotta suck a dick or bend that ass over or put them motherfucking ankles by your neck in order to get those things. My bad, I forgot. You do get those things. You just get them for the price. You know what I'm saying? The price is that pussy. My bad. You feel me? If you tired of selling your pussy, basically, <laughs> and you want to, you know, properly put it to use, you might need to come holler at me. I could be your life coach and coach your ass right to a fucking championship team. <laughs> you feel me? But I think I might be done for the day, y'all. I know I said I was done, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm not done. Fuck that. So, anyway, to these people that's walking around trying to be woke and all that shit, look at their fucking lifestyle, dog. <laughs> that's what you need to pay attention to. Period. Point blank. God, people. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you something about God, people, bro. <laughs> One thing about God, people. God, people don't try to offer you motherfucking riches and things. You feel me? God, people go offer you. You know, in eternal, eternal things in the sense of okay, they go treat you with respect. They go treat you with, with love. They go treat you as God would. They go show mercy. They go show grace. Giving motherfuckers things and objects and shit that ain't nothing that God would do. God don't give us material things as a token of His love. He give us eternal life as a token of His love, just like we should give each other. And if you, if you go do your research on conquerors and people that tried to conquer the world or either conquer the world at some point in time, every conqueror, dog, every last conqueror, I, if I ain't mistaken, they all died first and foremost. But majority of them died with nothing. And some of them died with nothing in a sense by choice, meaning that they tried to get rid of everything before they died because they felt so bad about being a conqueror in the first place to the point where they felt like, if I just give away all my valuable things to the people, then that'll make me whole again. That shit don't work, bro. Cause you don't conquer people by killing. You don't conquer people by, you know, slaughtering families and shit. That shit, you, you just giving motherfuckers a thing or some shit like that, that does not, that does not like, that does not, Fix that shit, you feel me? The only way you gonna be able to fix it is with your fucking life, nigga. Period. You dig what I'm saying? So, think about it. So, like, think about it. For the women that, they got the dude that just literally treat them like nothing. But they, in they defense, this is what they, they defense is. They defense is, well, he make sure he take care of me and he pay for everything in the house and all this other shit. Like... That shit ain't got nothing to do with respect, dog. You can still be respected and still be taken care of, but it's, the thing is, though, you feel me? You got to show respect, too, nah. See, and that's how everything get misconstrued in so many different ways, shapes, and forms and shit. But, yeah, conquerors, dog, they never, ever, ever die happy. They always die miserable. You know what I'm saying? And then, shit, think about what conquering is, dog. That's like completely taking over a situation and acting like your word is the only word so conquerors felt like they was god the government feel like they god if y'all really pay attention the government try to portray themselves like god like they and to everybody that want to call themselves gods or shit the baby want to act like he jesus and all this other shit bro we will never be god nor jesus because for one we too corrupt as people to ever be as holy as God in the first place. Now, as far as us being the image of him and, you know, living a certain way, we could we could possibly pull that off, but we'll never be able to perfectly pull that off to, like, the, the fullest. You know what I'm saying? Because we always go run into little obstacles. We always go run into little struggles and stuff. But the power of his mercy is what give us this life in a sense. So where back in the days, they didn't get to repent and stuff and as much we get the opportunity to repent and ask for forgiveness you know what i'm saying but see forgiveness don't just start with just asking him to forgive you got to forgive yourself <laughs> and a lot of people can't do that shit and that's the reason why they always lose 
Then another reason too, half of y'all don't even know who the fuck y'all is for real. We are Moorish people. We are not black. We are Moorish people. Another thing. Um None of y'all none of y'all none of y'all will nobody nobody that I know would die for somebody else. Meaning that you wouldn't die for everybody. You would not you would not literally say, take my life to save these people. None of y'all wouldn't do no shit like that. So that's really the main thing that separates us from Jesus in biggest, the biggest way, shape, and form, bro. None of us would sacrifice ourselves for the better of good because we too selfish, bro. Like, I don't know nobody that'll say, kill me for everybody else to live. Who gonna do that? Is you gonna do that? You ain't. Because, like, y'all can't even... Y'all can't even struggle in the means of not having something for a day or two. So I know y'all wouldn't be able to do it.